Let's join Ruth Boland, owner of the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen, Nashua Fine Craft Gallery, as we learn about the history of the League and their store located in downtown Nashua. I'm Ruth Boland. I'm the owner of the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen, Nashua Fine Craft Gallery. So I opened the Nashua store in May of 2010. So it's been about 11 and a half years. I honestly didn't think it was gonna turn into this beautiful gallery. I was gonna have my personal studio and a little gallery in front. And then I started talking to the league about opening a gallery and this is what it's become. We have um, work from over 250 juried members of the league. Some of the people have been here um, from day one. Um, some of my staff has been here from day one. And um, we, get, we get new artists joining the league all the time. Um, and so we get, we get new work from new artists. We get new work from existing artists that are um, you know, experimenting with new things. And it's pretty exciting. Every, every time you come in, it can look a little bit different. You can learn a little bit. The League of New Hampshire Craftsmen is the oldest and most recognized craft organization in the country, setting standards for both fine handcrafts, which are made right here in New Hampshire, that are valued throughout the United States and around the world for their creativity, authenticity, and technical expertise. The League's mission is to advance, cultivate, and champion excellence in fine craft. Our values are that craft is an essential human expression, craft contributes to the language and culture of our times, craft inspires, enriches, and builds community. For 89 years, the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen has promoted fine craft, supported craftspeople, and educated and enriched New Hampshire's communities. We have seven galleries across the state, Nashua, Hooksett, Concord, Meredith, Center Sandwich, Littleton, and North Conway. Throughout its history, the League has helped craftsmen sell their work, hone their skills, and generate income. More than 700 jury craftspeople produce exceptional contemporary and traditional craft in a wide range of media, from baskets and pottery, to printmaking and wood, from jewelry and quilts to photography and folk art. Part of our mission at this gallery is definitely education. Um, we haven't really had many classes for the last year and a half. We are just starting up classes again. Um, I'm limiting it to basket making classes right now, but we're having basket making classes uh, twice a week. Um, and those classes are for people of all different levels. So you can can be your first basket, you can come in and learn how to make a basket, or you can be someone who's been weaving for your whole life. And, um, you know, those people, um, there's a lot of camaraderie, um, and you get new ideas from the people around you. Um, I've been making baskets for 30 years, and I'll get a brand new student who will do something I didn't want them to do, but it can actually turn out rather well, and we can go, oh, you know what? that's really cool. Let's design a basket around that, frankly, mistake that you made, but um, let's turn it into a design element. So it's, you can, you know, advanced people can learn from beginners and obviously beginners can learn from more advanced people, but it's pretty, it's pretty fun. So the, the way that you become a member of the league, first of all, you have to live in New Hampshire or a town which is, whose borders are within 10 miles of the border of New Hampshire. Each of the different mediums, whether it's basketry or metal jewelry or pottery or wood, there's a um, kind of a committee, it's called a jury, um, usually of three people that are masters in that medium. And what you would end up doing is, if you wanted to um, become a juried member, is you would go to a jury session and present your work to um, that jury and they would critique it. Sometimes they'll have suggestions um, for things that you could do differently. And then there's a process where they accept you or maybe they accept you conditionally and you might have to bring in more work. Um, but it's a very supportive um, experience. Some of the juries actually have kind of pre-sessions where you can come in and present your work and 
get some tips before you actually go to the jury. Um, but it's, it, it is nerve wracking though, I won't lie to you. I remember when I juried, it was a long time ago, but I was very nervous. But, um, but it's exciting because you get to show a body of work that you've created and, um, and hopefully you get to join the league. Once you join the league, you can, um, you can participate in exhibits that are held at the league headquarters in Concord about four times a year. You can utilize different marketing venues like the different galleries, um, the seven galleries throughout the state, like the one in Nashua. Um, and then we have an annual craft fair every August at Mount Sunapee that you have the opportunity to participate in. We just had our fair and the public was so excited to go up to Sunapee and get out and talk with the craftspeople. Um, when you come to the gallery, sometimes you can talk to craftspeople also. Sometimes we have demonstrations. You know, we've spent a lot of time with a lot of craftspeople in different mediums. So we can answer a lot of questions and give you a lot of information about technique and their inspiration and, and things along those lines. It makes, it makes it pretty interesting that you can come in and see work from so many people and learn a little bit about what they do. I love being in downtown Nashua. It's, it's a very supportive community. Um, there's not as much retail in downtown Nashua as I'd like. I wish there would be more retail places opening, but um, the people that are here are very supportive of each other. We do um, some uh, events with the Great American Downtown and um, the different retail places will send customers to each other. Um, if somebody comes in here and you know we, we don't have what they're looking for, we'll send them down the street or somebody wants something made from specifically from someone in New Hampshire, one of the uh, retail places down the street might send them to, to us. Um, so it's, it's, it's a pretty, pretty cool place to be. There's not, you know, it's not a competition. It's the, the more people we can get downtown to enjoy what's down here, all the great restaurants and, and the retail places that are down here, the better. So a lot of people walk around and um, it's a lot of fun. For more information, you can go to our website or you can visit us at 98 Main Street. Thank you for joining our virtual Art Week. City Arts Nashua appreciates the support of our sponsors and of you, our viewers. Please continue to support our local artists and our musicians and our theater groups. For more information on arts in Nashua, visit cityartsnashua.org.